What's up? Hey, this is Glendon. And if you've been here for a while, you know that a few months ago, I had my phone number all over the YouTube channel and certain videos. Well, I'm getting ready to do that again, but there will be some stipulations. Number one, you must be a business owner. Let's define that, shall we? Business owner must have a business that makes money. Revenue, not a lot of profit, but revenue, that's making money. Must have been in business for a minimum of one year. One year. And if I talk to you before, you're not eligible for a second call. Now that's pretty much it. Now let's get into a little, a few other things. Now this will be predicated for people who want to use the power of video to make some damn money. One of the reasons that I'm taking on such a different approach this time is if you've already have your business for a year, you're making revenue, you've been through a lot of that stuff that as people are fond of saying, you can get that information online for free. You can get all that beginning stuff, go right ahead. But for more advanced, strategic, customized, tailored protocols, tailored to what you're doing, where you are, that's not all over the internet. Matter of fact, that's pretty damn rare. So that's what we're doing. This is gonna kick off in August. Now, what I'm gonna do is put a link below the video. And that's an email list. Everyone that gets on that list will be sent a link once we set it up, the exact dates of a calendar. And then we'll start doing the strategy calls. Once again, you must have a business. And just because you set up a website and you call yourself CEO on Instagram does not mean you have a business. What? What, what is a business to me? And this may be counter to what you believe in or what you think about, but to me, there's one, only one metric that's real important when you're saying, hey, I have a business. And I'm just gonna do it to you in a, uh, in a method, in a style that you understand. This is the only fucking metric there is. That's it. That's the metric. If you're not making any money, you don't have a fucking business. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to discuss it. That is the metric. All right. To me, and this may be counter to what you believe in or what you think about, but to me, there's one, only one metric that's real important when you're saying Hey, I have a business and I'm just going to do it to you in the, uh, in the method, in the style that you understand. This is the only fucking metric there is. That's it. And that is it. Links below and we're gonna have a very good time in August. In this video, I'm gonna... When I was a poor little black child growing up in Alabama. <laughs> okay, seriously, I couldn't resist. This is one of the things with the information on the internet. 2009, I started my journey of becoming a digital citizen, right? Well, I looked for information and there was a great deal of information. There was information that was helpful, relevant, and spurred me on. I'm gonna teach you how to find a... This year, I made a really big change in my business. I stopped reading as many books as I was reading. 
I unsubscribe to many Facebook groups, many email lists, because information is only as good as your implementation. And one of the things that I found out was there's amazing and awesome content online, but there's this success space, this space where there's something missing. The information is there, you can use it, the person is leading you down the right path, but for some reason, it just doesn't work out for you. That's what I call the success space. That place where you must do a lot of work to customize that information where it works for you. Sometimes you're gonna need help. Most of the time to get to the next level, you will need partnerships, you'll need a mentor. There, there's just a multitude of variables that come into play. And what I am doing with these calls is to create a solution for you, for your business that works for you. That's been the success space for me because, hey, I went ahead and I read all that stuff and I read the books and some worked and some did not. And when I started to dig deep, and I mean real deep, into the information, into the customers, I started to experience unprecedented success because I was getting information that my competitors didn't have. I'll just tell you one thing right now. Everyone is talking about video, deployment of video, using cameras, uh, all of the superficial, easy stuff. But very few people are talking about the strategy that makes a video successful, that makes a channel successful. And it takes you digging into your success space. So that's pretty much all I have for you. If you're a qualified business owner, meaning you had a business for a minimum one year, your business generates revenue, and you've never talked to me before, then you are eligible for this strategy call. Links below, get on the list. We should be sending out something very soon. So with that, you have a great day. A good business ideal. Also, so I'm gonna give you a methodology, a way to vet that business ideal and make sure guaranteed that this is a profitable business ideal. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu, where your real education begins. Be sure to get my entrepreneur life skill courses. If you want to start a business, if you want to navigate that journey from employee to boss, grab that bundle first link below the video. Do it now. Now let's jump into this because many of you want to start a business but don't know where to start. We're going to help you solve that today. All right, before we jump into what you want to know and the methodology, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. There are many people that seem to think that life on the internet is radically different than it is in real life. That false assumption is one of the reasons that you struggle online making money. Now, there's this whole thing, and this is the guaranteed part that you want to know. If you can't sell your business model, not item, but business model locally, it's going to be very challenging to sell it online. Yesterday, I was looking at the comments and I was an answering comments. Someone was asking about refund policies and all these other stuff. Okay, that's the free inf information that's all over the internet, right? Any site that you want to place your stuff on has terms of service, rules of engagement. All of that stuff is on the site. It's there. You don't even have to ask for that if you're going to do Shopify, if you're going to do eBay, you're going to do Amazon. You, there are rules that are already there and you can Google that. Now, this is what you do. You have a product, you have a service, something that you want to sell. What you need to do is go and find five to 10 people that you can sell that product or service to locally. 
if you can't sell it locally, and I'm not going to talk about the rare, exceptional hummingbird crystal that sells to a guy in England for $20,000. That is atypical. That's not normal. Most of the stuff that you sell, most of the things that you create, you can sell locally. Now, the internet creates a device that allows you to have scale. That's the beauty of the internet. It allows you to have scale. It allows you to have reach. That is the beauty. It does not magically turn a turd into a gold bar. So if your business ideal, your concept, and this has happened a lot, especially with you ladies, you want to sell purses, you want to sell handbags or wallets. And I was like, have a party and try to sell it to your friends. Like, I don't want to do that. I just want to put it on the internet. I just want to sell it. I don't want to talk to nobody and it should work. If you get a really good product that can work, but proof that your business model is going to work takes you talking to people. It's less expensive. You get better information. You get information that your competition will not get. And I'm going to say that again. You get information that your competition will not get because you know your customer much better. That is how you test out and you find out if your business ideal is a good one. I have people on this channel who have been in the I want to start something mode for one, two, three, four, five years. If you were to take whatever you want to do and just put a, put a group of people together, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, and present it to them, you will get so much information versus building a website, reading about terms of service, uh, going all around, doing everything in your power to avoid the most important part of making money anywhere is getting the sale, learning the customer, learning how the sales process works, learning if your ideal is a turd, and a lot of my ideals are turds, I euphonize ideals all of the time because it sounds good in my head, but the minute that I put it out here and I was like, hey, y'all like, no, nobody's eating that cake. Wow, okay, I thought that cake was amazing, but many of you, you don't like that cake, and if you don't like that cake, you're not gonna eat it, and if you're not gonna eat it, you're not gonna pay for it. It's that simple. So. To find out if your ideal is good, talk to some people. Get out there and engage with the public. I'm in a group and I made this comment that when I had my phone number on the channel, right, I talked to well over 400 people and dude was like, I gotta talk to you. A lot of people don't wanna talk to people and I don't have any problems talking to anybody with a real thing. And the real thing is you got a business, it's up and running or you're committed to getting it up and running, meaning that you'll spend some money. Long as you're in that, I don't know, I don't want to lose, I'm scared. You could stay there the rest of your life. Unlike many other internet people, I'm not here to motivate your ass. If you're not motivated by the chance of being more successful, being happier, building something that makes you proud, there ain't shit that I can offer you. My job here is to give you good information that if you apply it, if you go ahead and put it in the use, you'll make money. It's that simple. But as long as you keep looking for all of these tricky, special, working smart, not hard methodologies, you're not gonna make any money, you're not gonna build your business, and you're not gonna get anything started. Now, I'm about to give you a secret here. How did I, out of nowhere, come online and start making money as a pure digital citizen, which is the person who sells information products, service, courses, consulting. How did that happen? Well, I worked out here in the real world for a decade. I always made money online since 2000, eBay, Amazon, but to me that wasn't a pure online making system such as if you put up your website and you sell your whatever from your website, that's pure online income. Now, many people misconfuse or misunderstand intentionally because they are full of fear. When I say you need to leave eBay or Amazon, what I'm saying is if you never learn how to make money purely on the internet, you're always gonna be at their beck and call and whenever they change something, whenever they do something, 
you will be losing your mind. I see that all of the time and many people, I, I, I've got out of the groups. I got tired of the whining every day. I got tired of the bitching every day. I got tired of the horror stories every day. But people keep saying, well, that's the best way to go. Successful people, regardless of the platform, will be successful. So that's why you have someone who is killing it on Amazon, who's killing it on eBay. Then you have some brand new person who has no business experience, no selling experience, no product sourcing experience, none of this stuff. And they go there and within 90 days they're giving up because they don't have the skill sets. So my effort here to help you find a good business model, a good business ideal, is to let you know that you gotta do some work. You need to, while you're small, find out as much about your customer base as possible. I do a lot of testing and it pisses a lot of you off because it's like, what's this about? It's a test. I wanna know if a number of people wanna buy this widget before I go into full production mode. That's what a good business person does. But a lot of you seem to believe in uh, unicorns, rainbows, and other fairies that you're just going to introduce something to the market. It's going to be an absolute hit. You're going to make a lot of money real quick, and you're not going to have to work that hard. That is holding many of you hostage. I see it in the comments. I see it all over the Internet. So once again, take whatever you have and scale it locally. When I say scale it locally, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 customers, you're good. You're going to get a lot of information. Take that information, come here online, and then start to scale with it. Then you're still going to have to do testing here online. So that's how you are guaranteed to find a good and profitable business model because you're going to vet it before you even get online. You're going to vet it before you build your website. You're going to vet it before you start getting into all of these things that are important, but they're only important if you are making money. If you're not making money, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. I see people like, oh man, I don't know. I need to get my LLC together and all this other stuff. Don't have a product, don't have a service, merchant account, nothing, not making any money, but you're worried about these things that don't matter until you start making some money. And once you're making money, these things are easier to deal with. They're easier to purchase. They're easier to pay for because you're making money. That's all I got for you. Hopefully it was helpful. If you like the commentary and the advice of this channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, if you want to start a business and you're looking to cut out some of that learning curve, go below the video, hit that first link, and get the Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills Bundle. It's 20 courses for people who want to become entrepreneurs. It handles the business side as well as the personal side. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.